500 gold or something. I feel like I tried to count it out one time, count it up, and I didn't notice all the people who said gold rush, but I felt like it took one 500 from, like, the pool. Get gypped someone of 500. But LB, bam, let's see what the maps look like. I feel like I haven't casted a game yet where the maps are, like, really, really, really good, yes. which is always good to see because it's Aero. That's what Aero is all about. Back gold, kind of. Um, he's gonna have to put both lumber camps back here, but it's a good back wood. Uh, I don't know if Ira likes forwarding. It doesn't look like he does. Pushable deer. This might be one where I just try to push the deer and scout him a little later. I don't know. We'll see what they do. Um, wow, Ira's map. Okay, he has to forward. This map's so bad. I don't know if he'll scout that wood though. He's gonna have to take this wood, but then like later he's gonna have to get far enough ahead where he can TC something like this wood and it's in the middle of a map and it's so easily raided. I guess if he could like, oh, he can't even TC this. If he had super scouting, maybe try to like expand to the edges of the map, but then that's easily raidable too. Like it's so hard to defend. We'll wait and see. Uh oh, he's already idling this bill around the sheep. There it goes. Looks like he's doing seven on sheep, is that right? No, it's only six. Wow. Um where was LB's gold? Over here, so... I guess he could go Drush Flush. He does such a good job with it, I feel like I'd just do it again. Like, you can know it's coming and it's still hard to deal with. Especially if he scouted, like, okay, well his map, he can do it. Like, the first thing I like to think about is like how safe the gold is if it's Ira says it's very lag, but if they forward, <laughs> yes. Um, because I don't want to be off my gold stuck going archers. Oh my god, the boar is gonna kill this bill. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh rip! And it was on the first boar that hurt so much. Sheep was there. It's like, no man, I was here in time. You went too early. But uh. Oh, second thing I like to think about is how do, how does it do against like a scout all in? And this base does pretty well, I feel like, against it. This is in one spot, just wall here. And then put a ton of spears here, call it good. Where's the second boar? Right there. Real men don't re. Why not palisade? Oh boo, I think he thought he could get to the TC in time, and it's also really hard to palisade if it's really laggy, which I think it is. And you, you don't want that first boar to go back either. I thought it was possible he could have got it with the sheep too. Ooh, I don't think he should get loom though. This is like, like a double hurt your eco. Uh, whatever. Did he scout him? Because I would try to get back. Yeah, he did. I would try to get back really, really fast to push those deer. See ya, Bullet Chen. Maybe he has, like, school finals. Although I don't know if other schools are the same as uh, American schools. They probably are, because everyone does Christmas. Oh, nice, he moved out. No, LB doing a good job scouting him. Oh, boom, there's the barracks. The other nice thing about doing the, like, a drush thing is, like, it's way more forgiving for, uh, as Ira tries to take a sheep there. Way more forgiving for bad starts. Like, I say that, but, like, it, like, it is, but it also isn't, like, to do it really well. Like, it's really, I feel like it's hard to do. 
long distance getting the deer. Okay, Ira sees the barracks with, uh, not scouts, with militia. Also, so hard to click up in time now, and he's having to get the deer, so it looks like he's gonna click up super, super late. Because of the early loom and losing the bill. Let's see what he can do with the drush. Four farms. So when these bills get back, they'll probably have about 100 food or whatever. And so he needs 400 food when they get back. And the sheep's almost, the sheep's gone. See how this goes. Drush incoming, good quick wall. Not really anything to hit. You know, it's funny, his woodline's in a wood, like, back woodline and LB doesn't see it. I guess you can guess it's either, if it's not here, it's over there. See, oh my goodness, he's still, it's gonna go up the 31 pop maybe. Getting the second deer. Oh, he's gonna try to do it on 30. There he goes, he clicked. That was really late. Like the reason you want to click like way sooner is because uh, you want spears for scouts pretty much. Ira is saying very like, <laughs> it's funny. Ira has a ton of sheep left, so that's good. And see, he must have pushed a deer earlier or something. I'll be saying it's so bad. Okay, found the wood line, let's see how this goes. Wow, those bills are chasing a really long way, man. I don't know if he's scared about men at arms or. Okay, they're going back. Does he only have one bill on berries? Yeah, not two. I think. Two on berries, three on berries, okay. And Scout's just going to counter. That's smart. So I'll be going to get out of spear in time, walling in the gold. Yeah, he's going to try to rush flush. Range. He needs a spear. Uh oh. Uh oh. Only three scouts. One's kind of hurt. Oh, is it going to get a veil? Good micro. Can't click the bill. Oh, one bill down. There's the spear. So if that spear was just a little earlier. That spear going on really fast. Uh oh. That spear is about to die. This might be it right here. Um, you really need the wood right now, especially because he dropped two range for the archers and he wants a blacksmith. Oh, I got another vill. He's going to mow down this spear too. So I'll be 28 vills and I'll need farms or something because these berries are almost gone. This lumber camp needs to be replaced anyway. Oh my god, another vill going down. 26 vills to 30. I like it. He's just making a ton of scouts. He's got a lot of scouts left. You kind of need some time to get up that archer ball. And the the big problem is that like there's for the next step he needs fletching archers. Like they don't kill the scouts without fletching. Especially when he he already has a lot of scouts coming. Um, a couple. Of, he's got three spears here. I have a feeling a lot of people would add on a range to go skirms and just keep your foot on the gas. I'll be checking out his gold. That stuff not really doing too much though. I think he's so focused on this down here. This isn't efficient. At least his gold is safe. But uh... 
I mean, 33 bills to 30. I didn't see who had a wheelbarrow and who didn't. And he doesn't have that many farms. Like, what's that? Probably seven farms versus, like... Looks like there's, like, 12 or 13 there. Might be able to sneak in here, though. Oh, maybe LB will get payback. Oh, my God. LB will look at your archers. Oh, no, don't give him more warning. Oh, they don't have fletching, though. But still, this is so far away from the TC. Oh my god, will this be enough just to end the game right here? Two, three down. Oh, the militia's still the kill. Four down. Oh, he got five down and he's off his wood. That's yeah, funny, Ton Watch just finished for E-Ray. So let's see how this goes. These scouts have armor, but they don't have bloodlines. And so you want the armor against ranged units, but it's not doing you any favors against spears. It moved his wood line down here. So all of a sudden, LB said 35 mils to 30 mils. <laughs> wow. Is he a fletching? Because that was okay as fletching. Now all of a sudden, you can start to. Oh my god, but Ure has plus one, plus one scouts. This is interesting. No bloodlines, but plus one, plus one scouts. So Elby's gonna try to just mass up archers with the spears. It's always deadly, but these, like, you don't want to over micro this because your stuff's just gonna die. I just try to micro into a corner and call it, it, call it good. No, I'm kidding. He did well. Man, flushing archers are good. That's my micro is just horrendous because I feel like this stuff just never dies. Like I've done it in Unit Creator, but uh, I've only done it against Bloodlines too. Yeah, small numbers micro, bigger numbers, just call it good. Idling this, not sure what he's focusing on next. E-Ray definitely wants skirms, and then he's on the vulnerable wood line though. So I can see why I did plus one, plus one scouts. God, if they have Bloodlines, it's just like so much better though. Uh, just because he needs a ton of stuff out to keep that wood safe. I'm worried LB is going to focus too much on this though. It's not really that big of a deal because he needs to mass up stuff. But he is good at drush, uh, flush. I would try to, as soon as possible, sneak over to that wood line with like seven archers and a couple spears or a few spears or something. Just defend at home. I'll get, okay, right now I think he's going, but take spears with you. Oh, there he goes. Yes! <laughs> and then now E-Ray is going to have to try to catch these units in the middle of the map and then ideally have skirms out. Okay, there. He's got some skirms. He did a good job. Okay, he caught the units. He sees them. No bloodlines though. Wow, LB's going scale mail armor. Does he even have a stable? He does have a stable. I don't know if that was a misclick or... No, he already has armor. Uh, Ure looks like he's gonna try to tower this gold of LB. Or if that was a mistake on the uh, researches thing. I can't check now because this is big. Skirm scouts. I don't know how this will go. Mm, that's a lot of scouts. But they don't, it's weird because they don't have bloodlines. So I don't really see this too often. With insane micro, and if he microed into a corner, I felt like maybe he could have fought that. I don't know, it's hard to say. And <laughs> the wolves are in there too. Oh, that's funny. Tower going up on the gold. Bad timing for that tower to go up for LB because he's probably not going to see it. Oh, he did see it, counter tower, but probably too late. He can try to attack it with bills, maybe. Nope, now it's being walled. Oh, and all the units coming in. Oh man, this is a good game. <laughs> Bloodlines for LB. He doesn't have. Oh, there's a stable. Tower up here. Oh, sorry, Gracie. Spring's wife has the TV on, so we have to blame her. Oh, 
Um, still no bloodlines for Ira, and I'd assume he's on gold, so I'll probably try to get that soon. That's. Oh, he really can't afford it right now. Oh my god, he's already up the castle. Wow. Oh, look at all the wood LBs floating. Oh no. Oh, that's why he's off gold. No, that's normal. Um. Looks like E Ray is just super far ahead. He played it really, really well, though. And then. LB played it well. It's that sneaky tower. And there's a lot going on. Wow, a lot of scouts going down. I wonder... Um, LB has to go counter right now. Try to catch him. Okay, he is trying to. Keeps going back to that wood though, and he's not gonna. Oh, you know what? That is. Uh, that's what I would do too, though. I would think he snuck back to the wood. I feel like this is the most vulnerable part of the map, but he's not really able to. Okay, there he goes. Get in there. Ooh, good counter by Ira. Still no bloodlines, but it doesn't matter versus Bills. Ooh, a lot of bills going down. Uh, e Ray's only at 38 bills though, so if LB can somehow. Okay, Knight coming out. Somehow whittle those bill numbers down magically. LB nowhere near clicking up. And Scout's hitting units, so not hitting the bills. Oh, let's see, it's a lot of Knights out now. So LB, his Eco's. Pretty good. If he can just somehow hold versus the knights, and he has a lot of military out on the field, but I don't know what, like what it's made up of. Okay, a lot of range units that are going to die up here. Not really able to kill that many bills. I think he got a couple, maybe, maybe three, maybe four. Oh, the micro, <laughs> the micro, the buzzer beater kill. Uh, 36 bills to 48, and clicking up. This is this is really interesting. <laughs> Okay, he's gonna try to go expo. I like it and defend with spears, towers. I really like it. It's a lot of knights, and they have plus one, plus one. It's still no bloodlines though. I feel like they can't really do too much damage, and I don't really know what he's gonna do behind it. Oh, hardy. Okay, made another lumber camp. Oh goodness. Oh, there's a lot of spears here though. Oh, plus two knights. And then, like, the knights have the spears outnumbered, so... I'd imagine he's gonna try to throw down a TC here and not just keep making, like, a ton of knights, but I might be wrong. I don't know if he's gonna stay on pure knight. Take a look. Uh... Oh, he doesn't have stone for a TC, and he's not jumping on it. And Monastery going down, I guess, to heal the knights. I feel like this favors LB more and more as he doesn't take damage, though. And he's not... And e -Ray's not throwing down a TC. Because you just can't stop... Okay, this happened in a game, kind of, I think, versus Nero and Juan the other day. And then Slam said, just try to defend at home with... With spears, the situation was a little different because it was just scouts versus like castle tech, not knights. But if you can somehow get this in their ego, basically is the thing like the game's over, right? And then defend. Okay, so he can afford two TCs. Nice. So this is what he's gonna do, and then he's gonna go hit him, and then that's just the trick because just knights suck against this ball of units. Oh my god, and he has pike. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, this is interesting. Okay, I heard a siege workshop though. Okay, Manganel. Yeah, I guess that's how you defend it. <laughs> so how's this gonna go? The big thing is he's got E-Ray on his back foot. He's already ahead Bills and he dropped 3 TC there. So he just has to not take damage and then 
keep him off his back while he ecos a bit and goes back into Cav Archer. Oh, the monks went down. They didn't even get too much healing in. Kind of the same thing. Oh, oh. Oh my god, LB, do you see it? Oh! Oh, not attack ground. Uh oh. I got a decent amount with two shots there. Try to whittle down the night numbers. This is kind of big because I feel like this pays dividends later. It's like that business goes on. They're not going to be able to do too much damage, do too much damage. but uh, when he, LB's going to want to go Cab Archer and all of a sudden there's not like very many knights out. And he's swinging ahead of Eco right now. I think LB is pretty far ahead. Oh, if he can micro down this Mang too. Well, now he's kind of low on Expo. Uh, Mang still, that Mang did a lot of damage. <laughs> and what do we have? Five knights up here, three knights back here. Looks like the knights killed a couple more bills. Oh, they're killing a lot of bills. Uh, yeah, LB's gonna try to just go cab archer, pump out bills, call it good. Yeah, I don't see a TC for. Okay, he did jump on stone right then, so he does want to do a TC. I feel like he kind of missed his window though. I felt like he should have been doing it while all the Manganel stuff was going on. And he did see that LB did have 3 TC, so I'm, he's kind of stuck though, because like he can't, he lost a lot of units, he can't just keep going Mass Knight, but that might be the best option to just try to like, super just keep running them around, and then go a little slower into the TCs. It looks like he is going to do that though. Uh, taking down the barracks, it's good, good stuff. And LB trying to get ballistics. Uh, these knights need to run away though. They can't take damage like this. Like look how hurt they already are. They shouldn't run that way really. Oh jeez. That one's gonna go down. Like I think he's got to get max mileage out of the units and just like keep running them around. Idle the eco and not take damage. Like I don't even think he can go for the kills that much. Just buy time. Keep him off gold or something. Anyway, LB's already have a nice clump of cab archers. She's gonna try to get this. Oh, the barracks. This guy's gonna put up another range. Hmm. And I, I feel like I'd rather go monk instead of the barracks, but I would just skip it and just do like try to catch him just going up ranges and just defend with the cab archer and just say screw it. Because he's so close to just getting that nice clump of Cav Archer where like it doesn't even matter how many knights they have. Like they just get 30, 40 Cav Archer and then they just kill everything. Thumbering, nice husbandry coming. Yeah, good harassed by e -Ray. Clemson e -Ray is really old school. Yeah, I feel like everyone's really old school in this game. Like, it's, it's oh my god, good harass. Yeah, yeah, like, this is really good. And then just running there. Ooh, he killed a ton of ills. Like, I think LB had 64 vills a little bit ago. Like, back when all that Manganel stuff was going on. And he's only at 57 now, and now you're at 66. E-Ray going back into Cav Archer. Yeah, he did a good job coming back into Cav Archer and then throwing down that TC while all this is going on and getting... Oh, 3 TC University Ballistics coming. Um, and this isn't the most efficient. He's going to have to get wood somewhere else, I guess over here or something. And he's still off his main gold. Uh-oh. Oh, it's looking better and better for e -Ray. Oh, this game was so close at so many times. Let's see. Okay, we're even enough on bills, but uh, these 
this wood super far away. It's so far away for e -ray, though, so that's like not the most efficient either. This is a little better. And he's almost out of this skull. He's got to move that somewhere. Oh, the cab archer finally got into that wood line. Pupil's going down. And e -ray wants a castle because he has six on gold or uh, stone, and he's banking, banking stone. Good catch there by LB. Chasing these cab archer. LB might lose all these though. He's not on the ball. Uh, looks like he's going to try to sneak back here to the wood line, but there's a TC there. And then I wonder if he's going to use these to sneak up to this front wood line again. Oh. Okay, Yuri wants a castle here. Secure this stuff. That's how he's going to take his next gold. Oh, this will kill a lot. Wow, and this is. I felt like Yuri was ahead, but now this is going on. Oh my god. And he does have thumb ring. He got that a while ago. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So much is dying. And we're back even on bills. <laughs> Ire is ahead military, but he needs to try to secure this gold, and which I guess he's doing because he's dropping the castle. LB needs to try to take his main gold, so that's still there. Uh, Ire is way up military, though. 38 military to 26. Oh, this might be... Oh my god, he might catch all this stuff. Because all his armies here for e on the left side of the map, so I'll try to catch that in a second. Oh, he's going to try to stream some more stuff down here. Once this castle is still at 4k out of 4800 HP. Well, I'll be bailed. I would have pushed... I would have stayed there a little longer. And this is big. That's a lot of cab archer. His wood, did he ever move his wood line? Okay, he did take this over here, so that's moved. Uh, 78 villas to 82. I'll be doing a good job. He, he keeps making villagers. Oh my god, he took this gold though. Oh my god, they're, they're all gonna die. And they're on the hill. Ooh, a few died. And they're walking. You know what? I think uh, Ira is gonna try to use all these cab archer. Oh, he's not. I thought he was gonna try to like cut them off. TC here for LB. Trusting game. And if LB can somehow catch the. Oh yeah, he's bringing them all back. I'm just thinking if he somehow catches these, this is dangerous. These are in a weird part of the uh, vulnerable part of the map for Ira. Ira doesn't see it. Oh my God, this might be the game. Because he had a military advantage. He has the bill advantage now, but god, it doesn't, like, I feel like it doesn't really matter because, like. Oh, he lost so much there. Yeah, you raised still ahead on paper. It says it's 39 31. This is crazy. <laughs> As Ira just needs to keep him off his back because he's got this locked down while his eco kicks in. Or he gets ahead more, uh, whatever, he gets ahead in gold because LB is still off his main gold. Good harass here, I don't know if LB, okay, now he sees it. He's going to come back here with this. Nope. Yeah, let's see. And I wonder if, oh no, nope. e -ray's off stone. No, he's still on it. I was going to say, a second castle. Like, I don't know if he could get this hill, though. Like, here. Second castle somewhere seems like it'd be so good on this map. Okay, I'll be picking off the Manganel. But he needs to kind of somehow try to do, do damage. But Ira is the one going to do damage. He's way up Vils to 105.75. He did a good job jumping up in Vils. Both even on military at 39 each, but I feel like Ira's ahead just because he has got that castle like locking down this side of the map. This feels pretty safe over here. He even grabbed this, found that extra um, gold. 
He just has to make sure not to uh, lose his units, which looks like he is. He's got a clear line to retreat. I'll be throwing a castle up here. Ram's coming out for Ire. Ire has enough to click up the imp right now. Oh, he's gonna catch all these cab archer from LV. Oh no! <laughs> Ooh, lot going down. Ire up imp. LV can't really do that much damage. Market coming down here for Ire. I like it. Mining camp here on the gold, extra gold. LB still off his main gold. Oh, finally Siege Workshop. I'm guessing, I hope he makes a ram and not a mangonel. I feel like a lot of people make a mangonel here. Oh, and LB might lose uh, more cab archer. He is fighting on the hill. I think he knows what's up. Okay, yeah, it's, but yeah, he's just super outnumbered. Handcart coming for E Ray. I'm really surprised E Ray clicked up. I thought he would go. Um, like I have no idea how he plays, but I, I think I see, especially the old school players go light cav, especially because he has all the upgrades. He did have plus two armor for light cav like a while ago for the knights and so I'm surprised he just didn't flood the map like, with it on the other hand like he was pretty safe he kinda knew how many units LB had and he this can't be broken so this is locked down and everything felt pretty safe up here and it's uh, kinda far for LB to push so he's pretty safe to go up to poking around here with the cav archer retreating cause he's almost stamped Fast falling, yeah, Eco could go knights, but it's way safer, especially in a tournament game, just to stick with uh, Cav Archer, Hussar, Battering Rams, uh, Siege Ram. It's normal meta stuff. I like too that he tried to get off knights like as soon as possible. And you can see he's just trying to go mass, mass Cav Archer, uh, Rams. Does he have stables? He has them from before. I'm surprised he's not adding on his Tsar just to raid. That being said, kind of the Cav Archer can raid themselves. That's a lot of rams for one tower though. Hmm. Maybe he knew that he was going to build a castle here. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, that's odd. Uh oh. Cap Ram push. I always wonder when it's better to go for cap ram push than siege ram push because I know a lot of people go for these cap ram pushes but I feel it's always like almost always better just to wait for siege ram. A lot of stuff going down. Just because the DPS, the siege ram do way more DPS and it's just like way better. I don't know. And like you kind of have the food anyway. See how this goes though, they're going for the castle. It's not gonna matter here. It's a lot of rams, man. How many is that? Three, six, nine. It's good to see a game go like kind of this imp style. Like, yeah, very well played. Well played by both people. Like a really long game, kind of a standardish game on an open map like this, because most Hun War games, like, someone's just gets ahead and then the game never even goes to imp or whatever. Tower coming down here for LB to deny the castle. Yeah, man, that was great.